In this module, I want to show you how you can change text into a table and how you can change a table into text. So on the screen, I have two examples. One is a tabular, an example, and another one is a sentence with commas separating each element. So the top one, let me do that one first. So if I highlight this, so this has been created with tabs. You can see the tabs on the ruler. There's the tabs there, I'll just highlight it again. Now I want to convert that into a table. So I need to go to insert and then table. Now normally you'd go in there to create a table, but you've got this option, convert text to table. I'll click on that and then it's giving me some options here. So I've got a column count of three and rows of four. So that's grayed out. I can't actually change that. It's going to pick that up. Auto fit to column is what I'm going to select. And then you have to tell it what it is separated by. It's automatically picking up tabs, but that is not always the case. You just need to check that. So if I click OK to that, it puts that into a table. Now, if I just undo that a minute and just change one of the settings, because that was a bit small, if I go insert table again and then convert, this time I'm going to leave it on fixed column widths. I could set that to a measurement, it's on automatic, but I'm going to set that to three centimeters. In fact, I better not do that, I'm two centimeters. So that's going to be a fixed width. It's picking that up still, clicking OK to that. Makes it a bit bigger. I could have got away with three centimeters, but there you go. It looks a bit bigger and a bit better. Now to highlight this one, this line, I'll go into insert table again, convert text to a table. So this again has got the option to have a fixed width. I'll leave it on automatic this time. It's picking up commas because there's commas separating each element. Everything there looks okay to me, so let's click OK. And then it's put that into a table, like so. You can adjust the table width if you so need to. The um, title one, for example, is quite big. You can bring that in. And then you can take that one out, nice and neat. Now to reverse the process, you highlight it. So that would be clicking this, I'll click off it. That would be clicking this little cross in the corner, highlights the whole table. The table tabs at the top, you've got table layout is where you need to go. And then convert to text. And this just replaces it, puts it back how it was. So it was with commas, so I'll tick commas and then click OK. And then that just reverts back to how it was. So that's just a quick example of how you can get text into a table, whether it's tabular or whether it's separated with commas. So hopefully that video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.